Oh my god. So I wish I had the wherewithal <laughs> earlier this morning. I heard some little goat sounds and I just assumed it was my new goats. Um, I have new goats, uh, a, two Nigerian dwarf females. One is a uh, mother, her name's Mona, and the daughter is Lisa. Um, I believe Lisa's like two years old. And I was told that one of them may have been covered by a buck before I got them. Um, but I thought that that would have been for next spring. But I was out with the horses. I heard some little goat voices and I looked over and I saw the tiniest little baby. I was not expecting that today. So meet Da Vinci. This is definitely a new adventure for me. Uh, I only owned goats. Before these two, I had two pygmies. I tragically lost them. Um, but they were weathers, and I wasn't sure if I was ever going to do babies. But here we are with this sweet little, little boy. Uh, I guess this is kind of what happens on the farm sometimes, right? Uh, you have surprises, much like getting baby chicks. Um, but uh, here we've got a little baby goat kid. Grandma? What do you think, Grandma? Grandma Mona? That's your little grandson. I'm not sure if this is Lisa's first baby. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure it's another Nigerian dwarf buck. But uh, Lisa looked large to me when she arrived a few days ago. I just didn't know that uh, she was pregnant. I just thought that she was a little overweight. Um, so I was surprised. Um, but it seems like she has, I don't know, is it kidding? Because it's not a foal. Uh, I believe she's kitted out little Da Vinci just fine. Um, he's already all dried off and I've scoured the field a little bit and I haven't found any placenta or anything um, but she seems quite quite content as a good mama so that's it's good and all of my dreams don't have to seem so cold when my tears turned oh here's little da Vinci just a cute little one day old. Oh my god. He's adorable. There's no mama here. Dad is gonna drown in our own tears. And all that I see don't have to be my. He's so tired. Oh, oh. He's thinking he's just.
just going to collapse. So I had to come up with a little baby nursery type area for little baby Da Vinci because um, my goats are in uh, with cattle panels and the little guy could fit through the cattle panels. So I had some extra chicken wire that I just strung up alongside the existing fence and tied that. Um, I have a hog panel over there. You can see it gets really low. Um, spacing towards the bottom and then I left that with a uh, clip over here so I could give them some turnout into the grass and then I had another little roll of this 4x4 four four, of this 4x4 uh, four four fence so I ran that along the shared goat to chicken fence um, I think that the chicken fence would have been small enough but just for um, extra reinforcement and then that stretched across to their barn, but without putting T-posts down, I kind of funny put these cattle panels on there as well, just for some extra strength. Um, and we'll see how this does. Uh, this gate into the one stall closes to the other stall as well, so I'm going to be closing them in every night um, and letting them out in the morning. And I'm hoping that Grandma Mona here uh, is going to be okay staying in the stall with Lisa and the baby Da Vinci. Um, so time will tell, but that was uh, kind of today's project <laughs> was an uh, unexpected little baby birth and um, figuring out how to accommodate the existing pen for a baby. Huh.